you know, I see a lot of people who, who think they're really well because they have strong minds, you know, really strong minds, and they push themselves and they push themselves, and they get used to feeling tired, uh, and they get used to, you know, they say, oh, well, I'm just getting older, you know, it's the middle age spread or it's stress or whatever. And it's very insidious because deep down there could be something going on, as there was with Dolores. And so when I first met Dolores, um, I said to her, you know, I think there's something wrong with your liver after spending a few minutes with her. She didn't come as a patient, by the way. So I'm rude, aren't I? But do us doctors, we usually, you know, notice things like that. Um, and, she, what, and she said to me, what? There's nothing wrong with my liver. I'm a teetotaler. <laughs> I don't drink. There couldn't be anything wrong with my liver, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have to put it close to your mouth. <laughs> she's, she's mic shy. Yeah, stage fright. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she was in denial. And the giveaway that showed me that Dolores had a liver problem, she had bright red hands. I mean, they were psychedelic, like the colour of bright red. And... Uh, you know, that is a sign that you've got liver palms. And um, that alone, I said, oh, look, we better do some tests. And so we started her on a good liver formula and she started to improve a lot. And yet I hadn't done a full set of investigations because I didn't meet you as a patient. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't long after that that we realised that there was a lot of other things hiding beneath the surface. <laughs> and one day, um, Dolores had, uh, you know, some tummy pains and a really severe um, back pain and she started to pass a kidney stone. Now, that's worse than having a baby, by the way. It's severe pain. So not only did she have a liver problem, she had a kidney problem she didn't know about. And so we sent it to a specialist and the specialist was thinking he's going to have to operate yeah. to remove the kidney stones. Yes. So I said to Laura, OK, let's, let's try and do it naturally. Um, not that I was against the surgery, but she hates doctors and hospitals. I wouldn't go. She wouldn't go, no. <laughs> She's one of the, the worst patients I've ever had. Um, we, and so I said, OK, well, let's get you juicing. We did you the raw juices. And we gave her a liver formula, NAC, N-acetylcysteine, which is very good for the kidneys and liver. And we gave her kidney health formula, which has got a herb called um, philanthus, NAC, and uh, cranberry. It's got a few other things and it's all natural. And she started taking that. Well, I think she... The juice didn't... was awful. The juice was <laughs> awful, was it? Yeah. <laughs> I had to chase around with it, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. And it broke up the whole stone and the stone passed in small pieces and I didn't have to go and have that operation. And I was not really... I was not a non-believer, but I didn't really know much about supplements or anything. And I thought, gee, I've come to work for a doctor and suddenly I'm sick with everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. She was fine till she met me. She thought she was. <laughs> but I have to tell you, honestly, it all worked. And now, and given my age, I'm in my 60s, I have double energy. I lost a, a, a bit of weight just naturally from, from being made better. And now, instead of my five minutes saying in the morning, come on, get up, get up, I get up. And, you know, you can't put a price on that. Yeah. It's just marvellous. Yes. And to not have an operation, for me, was winning lotto. <laughs> <laughs> so you pass the stones. It was incredibly painful. As a matter of fact, was I there one day when you were passing the last one? Christmas party day. Oh, Christmas party day. <laughs> they... <laughs> it took a while to move them, but that yeah. kidney formula was amazing for you, oh, wasn't it? unbelievable. Are you still on um, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. other thing we found in Dolores was very interesting. She had extremely low vitamin D. Yeah. And that's why she got the kidney stones. Because if your vitamin D is very low, your parathyroid glands make a lot of parathyroid hormone. 
to suck the calcium out of your bones t to keep it high enough in your blood. And therefore, you know, the blood calcium gets a bit high and the calcium in the urine forms these little stones while it's being made in the uh, tubules of the kidney. So Dolores had a huge stones right up in her kidney. So that was due to long-term vitamin D deficiency. You know, you could write a book about all the problems that occur when people are low in vitamin D and you didn't have a clue. But if you'd have asked me, and I'm so determined, at that time I said to Dr Cabot, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm very healthy. She was <laughs> affronted when I told her she had a liver problem. She thought only heavy drinkers got a liver problem. So, yeah, but now I am very healthy. <laughs> yes, you are. You're fantastic, yeah. Because uh, you do the juicing. Juicing's wonderful. Yeah. We've got a book, Raw Juices Can Save oh, Your Life. And a tip. When you have those veggie juices and they're very hard to drink for me, some apple juice goes down smooth. <laughs> yeah. Put some fruit in it. Fruit Put in some it, apple. Yeah, yeah it changes, changes the taste completely. Or orange. Yeah. yeah. Great. Oh, thank you, Dolores. You can, you can relax now. You won't be passing any more of those stones. <laughs>